കിംഗ് May the Lord your God add to the people and hundred times as many as they are. Why the eyes of Lord the King still see it, but they does not does my Lord King delight in the things. But the King's word prevailed against Joab and the commanders of the army. So Joab and the commanders of Israel and army went out from the presence of King to number the people of Israel. They crossed the Jordan and began from Aroer, and from the city that is the middle of valley towards Gad, and on the Jazer. Then they came to Gilead and the Gadesh, and the land to the Hittites, and they came to Dan, and from Dan they went around to Sidon, and came to the fortress of Tyre, and to all the cities of Hittites and Canaanites, and they went out to the Negab. of juda at betsheba so when they had gone through all the land they came to jerusalem at the end of 9 months and 20 days and joab gave the sum of numbering of people to the king is israel there was 800000 valiant men who drew the sword and the men of juda were 500000 but they went hard smote at him after the number the people and they went to the lord I have sinned greatly in what I have done but now O Lord I pray thee take away the iniquity of the servants from I have done very foolishly and when David arose in the morning the word of Lord came to the prophet Gad David says saying go and say to David thus says the Lord three things I offer you choose one of them that I may do it to you So Gad came to David and told him and said to him shall 3 years of famine come to you in your land or will you flee 3 months before your foe while they pursue you or shall there be 3 days for stay in your land now consider and decide what answer i shall return him and send him then David said to Gad i am in great distress let us fall into the hand of lord for his mercy is great but let me not fall into the hand of man so the lord sent a prestidai once in israel from the morning until the appointment time and there died of men from dan to bersheba 70000 men and when the angel stretched forth his hand towards israel at jerusalem to destroy it the lord repented of the evil and said to the angel who was working destructions among the people it is enough now stay your hand and angel of lord was by the threshing floor of arona and the besusta then david spoke to the lord when he saw the angel who was meeting the people and said lo i have sinned and i have done wicked wickedly but these sheep had have done let the hand i pray thee be against me and against my father's house and gad came to thy day to david and said to him go up rear an altar to the lord on the threshing floor of arona and bed shoes so david went up and gets word as the lord commanded and when arona uh, looked down he saw the king and his servants coming on towards him and went forth and did obeisance to the king with his face to ground and he said why has my lord the king came to his servant lord said to buy the treasury floor for you in order to build an altar to the lord the plague may be averted from people then he said to david 
Let my lord the king take and offer up what seems good to him. Here are the orphans from the burnt offering and the treasury slaves and the yokes of, of oxen from the wood. All this, O king, Arona gives the king and Arona said to the kings, The Lord your God accept you. But the king said to him, No, but I will buy of you for the price. I will not offer a burnt offering to the Lord my God, which cost me nothing. So David brought the treasury floor and the offering of 50 shekels of silver. And David built there an altar to Lord and offered burnt offering and peace offerings. So he, he Lord healed supplications of the land and plague was avoided from Israel. This is the word of God. Oh, I'm not sure